to the channel so today's video i want to talk to you guys about the cdo 9 trend and how i determined that this is the one with the stronger gear set um with first second and third being um, triple cone synchros um so i'll go ahead and show you guys the steps um on what i took uh to find out that this is the cdo 9 um and then we'll get into it and confirm that it is um, but first let's go go ahead and clean up the garage wash up the trans and then we'll get into it So now that we got the transmission a little more cleaned up, we can go ahead and talk about it. So I know I just wanted to correct myself in the last video. I said it was a 1006 and then I corrected it saying it was a 2005, um, but it is a 2006 right here. And the manufacturer date is November of 2000, 2005. So it is a 2006 transmission from a 350Z. Um, there's people saying that you can get the VIN and contact um, Z1 Motorsports and Concept Z and they'll tell you if you got the good one or the bad one. Um, if you just get the VIN from the from the tag there and um, just uh, VIN decode it yourself, you can find the manufacturer date of the vehicle and um, go from there. Z1 Motorsports has a, a transmission guide um, you can go off of and pretty much it'll tell you if it's a CD09 or not. Or you can also um, remo uh, remove the cover or the tail, the tail end and the bearing retainer plate in there. Um, the CD08 is a two piece and the CD09 is a, is a one piece. So we'll go ahead and talk about uh, that and I'll show you more about that. Also, the, there's videos out there showing that if it's a, if it has a bushing on the shifter um, housing here, uh, that it's a CD09 and then the CD08 or the older ones are solid. That's uh, not really a, a good thing to, do, uh, to go off of because anybody can replace that. And then also on the side of the transmission, they have the CDO2 CDO two and CDO1. Um, I've seen videos saying that it's not good to go off of that. Then I've seen videos saying that if it's a CDO2, it's a CDO9 transmission. Um, but again, if you just go on Z1 Motorsports and look at their transmission guide, get the VIN and decode it yourself and get the manufacturer date um, you can pretty much tell if you have a good one or not but let's go ahead and uh, open up this um, shifter housing cover there and I'll show you what I'm talking about Also, you wanna be careful because there is a spring and a check uh, ball right here. So just wanna hold it up. So that way it doesn't pop open. You don't lose anything. You see that plate right there? So it's 
one, the CDO8, is you'll see a cut, uh, you'll see a line like right there. The CDO9 is a single plate, so it's one piece. On this one, as you can see, there's no line, there's no break. see that it's one piece so that's how I, I figured out that it is a CDO 9 um, but we can go ahead and tear it apart and I'll show you a closer look spring and the plungers are different sizes so just mark which one you which one came out from with should be two piece as you can see it's a solid piece and then on the bottom it should be a two piece and as you can see it's a one piece so that right there is identifying that it's a CDO9 and not a CDO8 or anything below so this right here just confirmed that this is a a good transmission that has the first second and third triple cone synchros just from that so i'll go ahead and put it back just check everything put it back and then we're good to go hope that helped um also if i'm not mistaken it's from manufactured manufacturer date july of 2004 um, is where the CDO9 comes from. So if you just get the VIN, um, go on the, on Google and uh, check up the VIN decoder, put the VIN in, and then uh, if you scroll down, look through it, you'll find a manufacturer build date. And if it's um, July of 2004, and then um, if you can pull the cover off and just look at the top piece if it's a one piece then you know you have a CDO9 um, 
and for the G35s I think it's November of 2004 for the 350Zs it's July of 2004 so if you just look up Z1 Motorsports look at the transmission guide they'll give you the breakdown on the manufacturer date um, so you don't have to call them you can do everything yourself um, hope that helped like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Peace.